you, you have a, a positive persona. Yeah. And this is the downside. <laughs> and I we, can be negative. Sure. I can get there. I but can go there. I will say, I think, like, part of the, part of, like, we've had a couple of people who are big TikTok followings. And, like, yeah. part of it is, like, positive. Totally. It's being positive. Totally. And uh, feel free to dig in. Yeah, I'm ready. You know. Let's dig. Um, uh, all right. Well, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, my name is... You, you hate it when I stutter. I know you don't like it. <laughs> oh, I didn't say you anything. You remember you did it once? I did not one time say you said, anything. One time you said, do it again without stuttering. No. <laughs> Your eyes said enough. No, okay. no, no, no. I, was, I didn't know if we were starting officially, but we are. We already did. Keep going. <laughs> you know how... We've, if, you know how this is episode, what, 45? How we do kind of like a, we just start. Yes, no, I know. It's kind of cool, off the cuff. I know, yeah. Hip. Yeah, yeah hip. Hip. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Jim Marcus Arezzi. Uh, 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 welcome to The Downside. I'm here with my, my co-host, Russell Daniels. Hi. And today we're joined by, what do you like to lead with these days? I know, that's the question. It's like, what do we call you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who, who are you? Because I hate the term, I hate the term content creator. Yeah. Because it's I so... Know. It's so vague. It would be like if you if you made shoes for a living and you said, yeah. "I'm a stuff. I'm a stuff uh, maker. Yeah. I'm yeah, a stuff maker." Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, give yourself a little more credit than that. Right, yeah, right, right. TikTok well, star. I even like TikTok. I feel like I that's li- that's limiting too because you do <laughs> other things and you're on other platforms. Totally. So it's. I don't Did I tell like you, someone either. I was in Times Square and someone recognized me from TikTok. Really? Mm. And I said, "Thank you for watching my videos." And then his mom pepper sprayed me. <laughs> Uh, no. no, that's, that's, that's oh my joke. god! Oh, oh like, look how no. the naivete just like. Oh my god! I was gonna say that'd be so sad because like I can picture that actually happening. Well, to me. there's a lot of there's a lot of kids. Right. I I tried on stage. Was I, it actually a kid? Wait, is this a real story at all or no? You thought it was a real story? I got recognized. <laughs> okay. They they were young. They were okay. young. Yeah. But on stage, I wanted to try it. So they recognized me, and so I and then I squat down like, "Thanks, buddy," but it didn't work. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was funny. Yeah. Um. Well. So, uh, uh, stand-up comedian, comedian, so, comedian, 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 artist, Female you know, comedian. I, you know, well, you know, it's lady fine. comedian, <laughs> <laughs> lady of the night. No, it's like, I, I actually started as a singer. Like I was doing theater before COVID, before TikTok, before the mouth came to uh-huh. be, the gape came out. I was doing like, I was doing off Broadway stuff. I was going to Broadway calls at four in the morning. Yeah. I was, my dream was to make it on Broadway. Wow. But of course, you know, like everything. So failed Broadway actress. Keep crumbling. TikTok star. (laughs) Yeah. So yeah. Comedian. Yes. Content creator to a Samantha Ramsdale. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to. You used, used to get up at four in the morning to to do that. Yeah, well, I'd go to like you know. Did you ever do theater? I feel like you, you remember. Like a oh person. my god, come on! You went yeah. to you went to those calls. No, every not once really. In a while. I, no? I like I because I it was one of those things. It, it, early on, I went to a musical theater camp, and yeah. like I was like, oh, I'll go to one of these these calls to see what they're like. This is like mm-hmm. junior year of college or whatever. Yeah. So I went to a Phantom of the Opera open call for the chorus, and oh. I was non equity, and I just saw it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no, yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. There's, this is not how yeah. I'll break through. Because first of all, you were doing eight bars or 16 bars. Yep. Not yeah. union, so super yep. late in the day. Yep. And you could hear them. Yep. And I heard them and I'm like, these are better singers than th- this oh, is not yeah. how I oh, make yeah, it. Oh, yeah, it's torture. Yeah. yeah, it's torture. Well, yeah, and that's that was what it would be. I mean, I would get up and I, I live in Stanford. So I would drive down. I'd wake up at three in the morning, park in the garage, sleep in the garage. You know, I'd go sign in and then go back to the garage, sleep, like, do my vocal warm ups in the car. Like it was, oh. so that was pre, you know, a lot of people don't know that. And, and like, I wasn't even like showing off my mouth at that point. Like, you know, now sure. I have this Guinness world record from TikTok. Like it all came from TikTok. Yeah. It's let's really talk crazy. about the actual record, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got to get to the music. I'm trying to wait for that music cue. Oh, but you're, you're song? leading us there. Oh. Well, yeah. Sometimes I like to, so this is a new There's strategy a new I'm doing song. where we just talk and like, eventually someone says something like negative enough that I'm like, that's it. And we oh. go into the thing. Oh, now, okay. tell me this, because you didn't have the Guinness, because I was I was been reading a little bit, because yeah. for a while, uh, it was just biggest, no gender, and you right. said, we need to gender more things. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what yeah. I did. This I said, is the this downside. is bullshit. <laughs> downside. Downside. You're listening to The Downside. The Downside. With John Marco Well, we will get to that. I like to open with a little problem my own. 
Mm. And uh, uh, we, we've been digging for a problem. We've, we've recorded three episodes in a row. Yeah. For this first time we've done this. And uh, mm-hmm. I figured what we do. So I, I'm worried. So it's just part of this is going to be about a body acceptance and pod, body yes. uh, positivity. Yes. Uh, I'm worried I might be uh, having a bald spot. And this is my oh, box of hymns yeah. that came in the it mail. It came in the mail so I, quick. Let me tell you. He let just me tell discovered you. this what? the other day. Well, I, I've been noticing. I've been noticing some videos where if you see the top of my head, like it's mm. just a little, you can see, you can see mm. the, the skin. Mm-hmm. And so I was ignoring it and asking yeah. my girlfriend every couple minutes. It's not, I'm making this up. Yeah. And she would, she would obediently say, yeah, you're making yeah. it up. And then my friend, Chris, who I've made fun of for, for some hair loss. I have, I have been, listen, if there's a God, you, I deserve you this. You deserved it. A it million percent. <laughs> you would, you would, you would, Make a lot of jokes in his, in his towards him. Yes, yes. About a, a few his, things. His but. height. If I if I lost my legs at the knee, I'd deserve that too. Yeah. Based on that, I'd still be taller than him. Oh, okay. uh, so um, Stop. that's not true. He a very sweet boy, very sweet boy. We, we can we can fight sometimes. Yeah. But he he pulled me aside after we did a show. We have a sketch team. Uh-huh. Oh, and cool. after a show, he said, "Hey, can uh, I talk? Can I talk to you?" A uh, man to man, oh. and for I didn't know what it was. Like I thought, I thought it was something else. We had had a fight kind of recently. I was like, maybe yeah. it's that. Yeah, and uh, he said, you know, I noticed while you were seated uh, a little bit of thinning. It's not bad at all. And he really like he could not have been more of a sweetheart. He's a sweet about boy. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you told, what did you say? He told you well, guys. Well, he, he, before the show, he pulled, uh, Douglas and I. Aside, Other people on the sketch uh, team. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Douglas does the, the theme music to this. Douglas, uh, he, so he pulled it, he goes, I gotta, I gotta talk to John Marco. And we were like, oh, about that fight that you had the other week. And he's like, no, no, no. no. <laughs> and, uh, he goes, no, no, no. I noticed while he was sitting, his, his hair is thinning. And we, and Douglas was like, yeah, can you not do that while we're around because <laughs> we were like also not now wait till after the show yeah 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 um Don't but uh he did a, it sounded like he did a, a good job uh with it uh, and then you yeah, what promptly, do you think i would like start like oh i ordered I this on the way home i don't remember we there was a podcast recording that we did where i was ranking who in the room would be balding and i did mm. say that you would be balding first and you freaked out you on cursed it. me you got really freaked out so i i think that Jesus, John Marco, you should have opened this before we started. Okay, so he's trying to open his hymns. Um, he's unboxing. Hymns could for sponsor us. They do a lot of podcasts. Okay. Oh, there we go. Do your do, do your dad is did he bald? Is he bald? No, not yet. You know what's funny? We you know I have you know I would say you know a lot of hair, sure. which the kids like to point out too constantly. Everything uh-huh. wrong about me? They're like your arms are hairy. Oh, like, what's wrong? You know? Can I say it's ho- something horrible I did once when I was younger? <laughs> I was at a camp. And I had a crush on this girl. This we were young. I mean, this yeah. is like this is like third grade. Right. She was in third grade. I was I was in high school already. And uh, <laughs> uh, you missed that completely. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was I was offering to help. He's open like, your yeah, that's how you know. Russ was like, yes, of course. Of yeah. course. <laughs> and so some some people accused me of having a crush on her. And I said I tried to deflect. I didn't oh, want people no. to know. And I said, no, she, her arms are hairier than mine. Oh, John Marco! Someone told her. Someone told of course her. they no. did. And she cried. And now she's a big TikTok star. She has the hairiest arms. <laughs> Shut up! She had, no, you are oh so gullible. Oh my god, I love it. Um, oh. Oh, um, wait, I have a question about hymns. Is yes. this just for hair? Is this does this do other things? Hymns? I thought hymns was like an umbrella of like. Uh, hair boners, uh, like but, but multiple that's it. things. It's okay, like an umbrella. Hair. It's umbrella for those two things. <laughs> and what's funny? So with hair loss, I haven't done a lot of research yet, but there we're like this is a topical spray, and like it's not FDA. Like FDA hasn't said that it's it's not sure if it works or not. Okay. The thing that definitely does work is this pill, but the thing with the pill is it really comes hand in hand with erectile dysfunction. <laughs> but to, don't they have a pill for? Don't they have a? Doesn't Hims have a pill for a boner? Yeah, Are you gonna take this now? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is just the spray. You think I like? You think I like take the pill and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't. I'm no longer hard. Um, okay, wow. there it is. Oh, these are the, okay. Has my okay, name okay. Fin- no. Finisteride. I feel like that's a that's a. They put your name on the bottle. S- apply six sprays to the area of hair loss. Uh, the scalp twice daily. 
You gotta do like a TikTok transition, you know, like oh, saddy, low hair, and then like. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I I hope that's the case. Um. So yeah, I try this, and then if it doesn't work, there's uh. First, we see how how long, how long, how long do I want it? No, 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 I just a joke. No, how Uh, long, like, would you? Are you trying? If there's erectile dysfunction, not long at all. Well, uh, no, I'm saying. I know, I'm joking. Okay. Yeah, it takes like six months. They say to wait. Okay. uh, For full full decision. How much is that supply of? Well, let's say, well, let's do the math. Six sprays a day. How many sprays would you say? That I, I don't like? know. I'm asking. That's I why I'm this saying. Is, I think this is a six month load or, or whatever. Six month load. And by the way, it starts, it costs like, I think this is, I think it's 50 a month, mm. but it could be 500 a month. What am I going to do? I don't got many 50 options a month. Right so it's $300 for six months. Yeah, if, if it works, the question is maybe maybe I'll I'll bald, maybe I'll, the balding is slow and it's enough that I don't have to mm. care. Then there's the pill or there's hair plugs. Mm. I had a friend recently went to Turkey hair plugs and apparently it works great. Really? Mm. So That's why funny. is it that bad? No, I'm not. I was trying to look because here's the thing. I think it's a brilliant business model because you, there's no way of you to know really whether it's working or not working unless it, it like falls out right now. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like then you'll be like, this is not worth it. But I think if you just stay the same for the next six months, you'll probably keep buying it, right? Yeah. Oh, I'll give them all my money. You should take pictures. <laughs> you should yeah, take some pictures take, you gotta before. You got to do TikTok. I do the transition. You know, because then like in six months, you want to have proof of some way. That's what the TikTok kids want to talk about. Balding in your 30s. <laughs> yeah. That'll that'll go great with the TikTok kids. They'll love kids. it. They'll love it. <laughs> um, but I, I want to, I've just, I've just been looking at the mirror and I'm like, would it be okay if it balded at all? You told me it'd be ugly. I on that episode, I, I, it's on record. Did it's I say on, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I don't think you'll be ugly. <laughs> you could get a wig. No, I think, uh, no, I think it, I, I get used to it. You, you could, you know, I think actually when you're a slightly a little older, it'll, it'll look good bald. Mm. Okay. You know? good. Mm-hmm. There's something in my mind, like a, a relief from the horrors of getting older where I'm like, mm. oh, I'll be funnier. Yeah. <laughs> like there's yeah. something about stand up comedy totally. where I'm like, uh, when I think of my favorite stand ups, most of them are, something's a little wrong. Yeah. Mm. So that's, mm-hmm. that's the only reprieve. Totally. Well, thanks for. I, I was, wanted to have people here while I opened it. Yeah, that was special. That was yeah. really special. Okay. So I have these three bottles. Um, please, him sponsor us. Yeah, so I can afford this. Yeah. Um. So, so you let's talk about that Guinness World Record. Yeah. Because who was who was it before when it was just p- largest period? Have you seen? The male with the largest mouth. No, what's his no. name? It's four words, right? So just so we can four. say it for everyone, because I don't know what's if we say that aloud. Isaac. <laughs> oh, I heard. I heard one where it was like a long name, his name that sounded Smith. like it had Dikembe in it. <laughs> what? Why are you giving me a look? I was. I was what just going to say. I don't know. If we, <laughs> I don't know if we've officially said what her Guinness record is in. Oh, like, sure. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. saying, like, we should, you know. Yeah. Let people know. Yes. What is your Well, by the way, too, it used to be, also before I stepped in, it was largest gape in the world. Oh, my God. (laughs) Which is kind of great. They they called it gape. Yeah. Just gape. Largest gape. Oh, in the world, that is, why would they do that? That is vulgar. Does that are there other gapes that could have competed? We, yeah. Well, there was other mouths. So, like they were saying, well, animals have larger mouths. So there was like the bl- we're competing the with whale. animals. <laughs> yeah. what no, the fuck? this is humans. I mean, there's got to be like a blue whale that has a bigger right, well, mouth that's than what you. It was. It was like well, the blue mouth whale has a bigger mouth. Like, sure, well, we're, we're competing right with whales. Yeah, <laughs> what is this? So. Anyways, they ended up, it was this guy, and there are, I mean, if you're a Guinness Book World Record watcher, you know, avid reader, which I used to be, we used to get it every year for Christmas. Uh, it, was a good, it was a good book. Great book. book. And there's always a male and female category, you know? Yeah. Because also, if you just look up, like, average size of your mouth, males have naturally larger mouths than women. Okay. Like, I think, like, average male is, like, two inches. Uh-huh. I guess I. Oh, that like way. Top, yeah, wow, teeth wow, to wow, teeth. Wow, wow, yeah. And then females is like 1.7 or something. Okay. You know, so there is an average differential. Males sure. just have. So I was like, well, you know. And so technically, it is like, you know, it's largest gape, right? And then they change it. They're like, all right, well, if we can have a male and female, we shouldn't say largest mouth gape. Sure. So technically, yeah. I have the largest mouth No, there's mouth no woman gape. who wants to be known as the largest, <laughs> largest gape, gape in America. Gape. 
<laughs> well, of course I do. You know, I like, you know, of course. It's gold. And of you know, course. it's like, it's, yeah. it kind of is, you know, obviously just like naturally funny. I kind of like it that way. And it's, you know, as a joke, they have to send in measurements, obviously to Guinness. Uh-huh. So I went and had like my OBGYN, like do my gait measurements, like as a joke. And that'd be funny. And they were like, no, this does not count. No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> um, and I was like, isn't that funny? And they were like, no. So you, so did you submit it on your own accord? You just mailed them. Do they take pictures while you measure, like uh, by the a way, video or something? It the amount of things that I needed. I mean, it's like two page document. I had to get videos, pictures. Like it needed to be by a physician, and wow. it was like I had to prove I had to get their diploma to prove that they like actually had a degree. Like this was like a real physician. I had to get a doctor's note to prove that I've had no like alter like I've had no surgical or like alterations prove i had to get a blood test to prove like i'm not on like certain medications that would like stretch my mouth imagine like that's like what russia would do they'd be like we got to get this back (laughs) yeah i don't know what medication so so you were the first you're the first woman so i'm the first woman but like they've never had a woman submit for it that's come anywhere close and technically wide you know because i had the argument i'm like well if we're talking about mouth like so wide it's 14 and a half centimeters wide, wow. my mouth is. And his, the male's, is like 11 centimeters. So I have him Wider. Eat this way. Right. Wow. So which so matters? They, it's just, they it's, only care about vertical? Yeah. So really, it was just, it was just top to bottom. Wow. Which, if you've seen his, it is crazy looking. Isaac Johnson is is the male yeah. currently. And my, there might have been an old, you know, like another one previously. Yeah, he wasn't available today, but we tried. <laughs> <Monday> uh, <laughs> well, it should be. Shouldn't it be circumference? Well, that's what yeah. I said. Yeah. Which and I feel like I'd have them be, right. Wow. So how long, how long were you feeling like in yourself, like I should look into this or I should do this or pursue this? Because you had really to pursue, you had to do a lot of work, fill out paperwork and right. go to a thing. Yeah. Like what, what came first? Were you doing content about content. your big mouth? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. So, like, I like it was the children of TikTok that really like yeah accepted me and like yeah egged me on. Like, you know, of course, this, you know, it's like once you find your niche, and I was, and I always knew I had a big mouth, and I was like, all right, what am I gonna do? There's millions of comedians, there's millions of creators, like you know, and singers. It's like, what am I gonna do that's different? I'm like, well, I have a really big mouth, and the first video I did, which was like, I was just like, like making crazy faces. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it like, you know, yeah. and I was like, oh, <laughs> now, is it anything? Is it medically anything or is it just no. do you, does your, do your parents, parents have a yeah. big mouth? I was going to ask that, too. They don't like it is. It's ju- it's like a freak of nature. You know, and of course, like I've asked dentists. I went to like a genetic counselor. I was like, can you look at my DNA? Like, yeah. did something like, you know, get fucked up along the way. You know, like a gene, take a left turn. When sure. I, you know, yeah. well, you must be a dentist dream because they can like. Get in there. And well, you know, of course, and I joke, and like I have like dentist daddies who like I have dentists who from all over. Like I will fly you out here <laughs> to look at your mouth. Wow. Like you know, what? I Do never they give need it to you dental. You're free dental. Again. Yeah, free dental, baby. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's a good right. medical system. Um, <laughs> so so okay, so you you so let's you were born in Sanford. I'm born in Maine originally. Born in Maine. Yep. And when did you move to Connecticut? Like six years ago for a corporate job. Oh, are you yeah. still doing that corporate job? I or? quit my corporate job a month ago. Wow. wow. Congratulations. Thank you. Making that yeah. mouth money. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like my money maker. You know, it's funny. I got like a little cut. I was doing a video yesterday where I was fitting an entire Reese's peanut butter cup I in my s- mouth. I saw it. I saw it. Like a, like a, like a special kind of Reese's. Like the, oh, yeah. The pad, like the big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I got a little cut and I was like, I got to, you know, like I got to get mouth careful. insurance. You should. Oh, <laughs> like, my God. You know, like anytime something happens, I'm like, oh, one wrong move and I'm screwed. Yeah. Have you hurt yourself? Any other, any other injuries? Well, so. stuff. I mean, like you have a big mouth, but then you you really go the stuff. mile. Yeah, I go the extra <laughs> I'm a, I say I'm a certified mouth professional, you know, because I just do. I also, you know, a lot of people worry about choking. Like I, uh-huh. I tr- am very safe. You put an apple in your mouth, and I that's I have I have like weird. I always have like like an like a peach. I always have like a dark fantasy that that's how I'll die. An avocado. Whenever I see an avocado seed, I don't know why I'd have it in my mouth. But I was gonna say why yeah. would you yeah. like that would that would go in my mouth. You're worried about the pit going down your throat. Yeah. Of an avocado. avocado. Yeah, eat How like, are you <laughs> eating avocados? I don't know. I, know, I don't know. Just, but are, when I see it, have it's you just ever in my bitten mind. into an avocado? No. 
But maybe a peach? Peach, okay. A plum? Yeah, I've seen how you eat fruit. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <It's> fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, I have. So I've I've so when they first were doing the measurements for Guinness and they were like, All right, you gotta use because you had to use a special device too. Yeah. You have to use a special caliper, like there was a special brand, like down to like the point zero zero tenths of you know of a centimeter. And I bought one like industrial, like construction size, and I didn't realize how sharp it was. Oh god! And it like had like razors at the end oh. of it, so like it was almost like a Joker type scenario. Like I go to put it in my mouth, and then Can you oh! if, when the Joker says, "You want to know how I got these scars?" <laughs> like, I was competing for Guinness World Record <laughs> biggest mouth, and Batman's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> oh no. Right, so I like, and I thwe- like it was Joker, like blood. It was, oh. and I was like, oh my god, you know, it's like the first reaction. Just I was like, holy shit. And that's when you were doing it on your own, just to see if right. you should go through the right, next right. Level. If I should go through with this, you know. And then I'm like, oh, that's sharp. Shouldn't do that again, you know. Yeah. It's like that's why you need a professional. But and then I found one that wasn't as sharp, and obviously ended up getting it, and had a professional do it the next time because yeah. Yeah, but that, you know, and of course, too, like, really hot foods. Like, I, there was this hot dog, OK Dogs. Have you guys been there? And no. There's, no. and they do, they do, like, fried hot dogs with cheese on the outside. Uh-huh. So it's, like, hot dog and then cheese, and they fry it. And, of course, I'm like, OK, I'm going to do this whole thing in one bite. But it was, like fresh out of the fryer and it was cheese in the middle so i go to bite into it and it was just Ooh. like molten oh cheese. I was my like, god <laughs> it was just like yeah you gotta be careful but like i'm um, the entire roof of my mouth like because well, you're you're going to her video she has like going to sandwich shops all yeah. over the place like massive sandwiches yeah. yeah and i it's always i'm always like uh they're never healthy <laughs> no one's ever like put this whole the broccoli tree in your mouth. It's always like put this, put this fudge covered fried hot dog yeah. thing. That's well, it goes a lot viral. Of- you know, like that's the kind of stuff. Like you know, like I did like a huge pizza burrito where it was a huge pizza yeah, yeah, yeah. turned into a burrito. That and you know, and it's like people love that. You know, it's are like, you like, always like, like eating them, or is it sometimes just like a mouth thing spit out? Kind of situation. If it's a sandwich, I always eat it. Okay, yeah, yeah. But if it's like, like you know, I do three donuts in one bite. You know, in yeah. one. You know, and I yeah. can't. You know, it's like I could. But, but you're I having to do it to. probably pretty frequently, so that'd be a lot of. Yeah, you know, I mean, and that's the other thing too. Like, the, I was just yesterday. They're like, "Can you?" There's this mini pie, and they're like, "Can you fit this whole pie in your mouth?" And I was like, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> the request, people. I. I went through a phase when I was a kid. I used to eat a lot of ravioli, and I used to like think it was impressive that I could swallow. Oh, there was a time where yeah. I was. I said to my dad, "I said to my dad, dad, watch, I can swallow six raviolis <laughs> without chewing." And I'm looking back, I'm like, I, "So I didn't enjoy the food. I just ingested this shitty." Why did he say pasta. he let you do that for him? My dad was like, "Try seven. Come on, seven. <laughs> That's when I'll be proud oh. of you. It's never good enough." Yeah. Um, now you 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 know you talk about it being bullied as a kid. How how yeah. rough are we talking here? Well, I mean, you know, it's like everyone to some degree was like made fun of and bullied for some reason. But you know, I talk about I, like I was a weird kid, anyways. Sure, you're a theater yeah, kid, right? Like I played trombone. I well, played ice hockey. You. <laughs> <laughs> you're born a theater kid, yeah. but the trombone that's a choice. <laughs> well, it was like one of those. There was like no other instruments, you know, left, and it was like yeah. I guess I'll play the trombone. But um, I was a saxophone. Did you do any saxophone? Instruments? You did sax? Yeah. How Three, long? Seven, eight years. Are you? Can you still like jam? Oh yeah. Are you serious? Really? I don't know. No, <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't think I would be very good now. But I, can, I still remember the notes. What could you play? What's like the first song? I could play. I mean, I could play like you know any of the simple like nursery rhyme kind of things probably. What? About, how's your trombone? <laughs> Um, that's the I, moving. Burr, 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 yeah, burr. That's yeah. a fun one. That's cool. It is. It's, yeah, I was going to say, you, you're you more of like the base of, yeah, the, yeah. You know, of the group. So it wasn't really like, I mean, I probably could, but I played piano and like, you know, of course, growing up as a singer. Sure. You know, I did play, but that wasn't really like, you know, part of the band in school. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. so I got the trombone. But, it, it, you know, I was just, yeah, it was always, I mean, yeah, if you grew they up called to you, be, you big, big bass. Big bass mouth. Big bass mouth. mouth. You know, oh. like I, you know, of course, have a lot of jokes about that. About you know, like remember that thing that used to hang on the oh, wall? Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, there was that was like a version of like something going viral where like everyone had like yes. that was a gift to get everybody. Right, yeah. you know I, I don't remember about. where it started. Yeah, some Sopranos. Bre- 
Oh, was that what it, it was started? in the Sopranos? Oh, it remember? did, and it, it's like take me to yes. the river. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's, it's like something that like fifty year old men were like, "This is really funny." Yeah, yeah. this is my sense of humor now. It's, it's like it's a, remember he this. keeps seeing it, and he's like thinking about when he killed Big Pussy. That's what that's oh, what that whole thing is about. Right, yeah. right, yeah, yeah. So Big Mouth Bass, Kermit, you know, pretty much like anything. Pitbull, like I get told, I look like oh. a pitbull a lot. What I kind of do. Does, you, know? you have a pitbull. I don't see you that. Do? Uh, I do have a pitbull. Um, that's so. You named with your pitbull's name is Samantha Ramsey. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That is Big the name game. of my uh, <laughs> of my. <laughs> um, um, I had a question about the teasing. Um, yeah. the did you feel like you tried to hide like the 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 mouth, or yes. were you ever, were embracing it at all at all no, at that point? Never, okay. never. So well, you were like. You school know. pictures? Are you school like- pictures? Well, yeah, yeah, literally. And I never wore lipstick. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So that's you know, obviously, it's become part of like my thing, you know, now because yeah. it also just looks insane because my mouth is so big that it just like looks crazy. Yeah. But it's like I never wore lipstick. I put concealer over my lips because I too like you know I don't. You're in your. Th- How old are you? <laughs> He's balding in his thirties. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! I'm thirty three. I'm thirty three. <laughs> <laughs> um you know it was like You're 31. 32. 32. I just, yeah 32 a couple weeks ago um but it was like you know and big lips weren't cool like when we were growing you know like i feel like uh-huh. now big lips and like you know big curvy but it was like when we was growing up like i feel like it was everything used to be small that's my mm-hmm. mirror we we talk our friend chris has like a mirror like he has a like mirror a, face. he should be a world record for like weirdest fucking mirror face. <laughs> so like he goes, he goes. If this actor, he goes. It does and like, like it, it happens like, like that. Yeah, he's, and it's like subconscious. But mine, mine was a uh, making my lips like a little bit tighter. Like yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think it's gone now. But yes, I, yeah. I hear what you're saying. It was just like everything needs to be small, so it was just. Yeah. Concealer on my lips, you know, so you couldn't tell. It blends it in. It was a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was definitely not showing off at mm. all because people were like, you know, it. It, it was weird. People would be like, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not normal. And it would be like, your mouth, you know, it's you look like a frog. When you, you were kissing like someone, would you ever, like, put their whole chin in your mouth? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, like a jokey thing? Yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> People ask that all the time, do it. You know, I've done jokes. Of course, it's just easy, like to respond to comments yeah, and people yeah, yeah. are like, you know, and then, of course, I'll just, like, yeah, put my entire boyfriend's, like, face. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's like you can't beat him. Join him. Is your boyfriend you know? in the arts? No, because he's 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 playing along the TikTok. He's doing it. It's taking he's a, a really, while. Oh yes, yes. He's really. I I would describe him like a a, a teller to yes. your pen. I mean, you're not like pen, but he's like teller where he's like doesn't really say anything. Yeah, a lot of looks yeah. to the camera. Yes, but really, really yes. does it. I mean, it, and yeah. he's he, he's in a lot. Yeah, he's participating. People love you know because James. it's. I love, yeah, James. And if you've seen, like, you know, especially recently, you know, we started doing the couples challenges. Yeah, like the, yeah, you know, yeah. And, of course, those just, people love that physical stuff, and it sure. always does well. On- Tova and I did one. We did, it was like a Cardi B dance thing. Yeah. Where yeah. We tried some move they did at the VMAs, and people yeah. were a big fan. It's And it's like, you know, we have so much fun doing it, too. Like, you know, that stuff, too. I love physical humor. Like, I grew up watching physical comedy. Like, I was inspired by Jim Carrey and some of these, uh-huh. like, yeah. you know, of course, and you see some of the crazy faces he had a big like, mouth jim carrey he does yeah, yeah. He does. i bet i bet he's he used to compete in the world record <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's another gaper um but so i so i love that stuff anyways you know and it's so it's fun being able to do it and it is it's just silly and it's like the least i feel like you know on tiktok it's like the least offensive type of comedy <laughs> are, are, are do you have a talk. lot of people reaching out to you with different physical abnormalities Oh, um, some I do, but any that are like, what do you say? I just feel like it's the kind of thing that like you could end up getting some, someone's like, oh, like something scary. I have an arm growing out where my nose should be. Right. Should I make videos too? And you'd be like, ah, maybe not. (laughs) Maybe which isn't necessarily scary. <laughs> I don't want a whole right. arm, yeah. a whole arm out of the of the middle of the face. Well, I, I don't think I we have to, to worry say, about that. Uh, sure. Well, you know, it's funny. I was thinking, you know, and I, I have started recently doing a podcast where I do. I'm like trying to find other like weird people. Yeah, you know, oh, like good. people who are considered weird or have like weird jobs or whatever mm-hmm. it is. 
And I, you know, it's like I have been trying to find someone who also, you know, because people are like that too. It's like, oh, I wish I had something I could use. I'm like, do you, do you though? But, yeah. you know, it's like, I, you know, and someone who's open to talking about it. Cause a lot of times too, it's, you know, I found some people like they've come, it's happened like in an accident or something, yeah. you yeah. know, where something's really. Yeah. <laughs> like they have some, like a deform, you know, or sure. an extra, or, sure. you know, it's just, and it's weird. Like I feel sometimes I'm like, hey, hey, you, you have something, you have an extra, you know, an arm. Yeah. Or like there's one girl who like her eyes can pop out of her head. Oh. And it's oh. like, you know, and it's like, you know, it's like, do I message her? I'm like, hey, hey, girl. <laughs> Hey, I'm looking for some freaks. Um, I saw a story the other day about the man with the biggest penis, and he lives in New York. And he uh, he he was like, I- "I'm sick." I, this is a headline. I did not read the story. The headline sure. is this: is the gist. He's like, it was like man's uh, world's biggest penis man lives in New York City. It was like is sick of people asking to see his penis. Yes. And you're like, I mean, you started this. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Maybe stop calling yourself world's biggest penis man. He definitely sought out to get the record. Um but it is something where you're like your mouth is out. Yeah. You know, uh, so you're, you're like there's just the thing where like, you know, the man with the biggest penis like that's like Yeah. I could see how people would be like well, let's see it. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. How big are we talking? Uh, right. Um, right. Anyways, he's tired of that, of the thing, of the... Did it say how, how long? I didn't read. I didn't... But that kind of stuff, it's always like, there's stories like they, you know, they get erect and they pass out because there's so much blood loss. I've not heard that. <gasps> That's oh, yeah. I remember, I remember as a kid, there'd be like, someone had a 14-inch penis, but he can't, he can't have sex because he passes out <laughs> mm-hmm. every time. <laughs> The picture of the man's head, because it was like it was like Which a head? headshot. You know what I mean? It was like of the dick. No, right oh. it was like you know his face in the in the article headline. What's I was his like, name? it was I don't know. Just search world's biggest <laughs> penis. Russell, that sounds. <laughs> Uh, it said he lived now in New York City. Would you have him on the podcast? I, like, I feel like I it, was a New York, it was a New York podcast. Yes. It might have been the New York Post, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, let me ask. Him. So, because you know, you uh, we had a uh, uh, what's a oh, fuck? What's his name? Oh shit! I shouldn't have said it if I wasn't ready to say his name. <gasps> For what? What? Uh, 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 Jonathan Lyons, who's oh, the rat? Yes, he Buddy the rat. Like a rat. Buddy the rat. <laughs> Buddy the rat. There's just like with the pandemic. There is uh, uh, a certain group of TikTok folks mm-hmm. who like really sprung into fame for like a, a specific thing, and yep. and you've you're, you've you've been on Ellen, yeah, which I do want to talk about. But yes, uh, did she do something to you? No, no, it was it was <laughs> like I wish you know it was one of those things where it was you know I never got to really officially ever meet her or yeah. like you know do anything. I mean, I pretty much just went on there, shoved some donuts in my mouth, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yes, that was crazy. What? This is pre uh, any kind of like trouble. Oh <gasps> no, no, that's... no! After yeah. she's still on oh, TV. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I think this is her last season. I think yes. it, like yeah. she just said. Oh, so like, this is recent. Okay. Yeah, okay. this was in like early summer. I couldn't remember when she got in trouble. Like when that. Story yeah, when came that out. happened. Yeah, it was remember. definitely during the pandemic. Yeah, she yeah. she was also when she was uh, in quarantine. She was the one who was like, "It's like being in a prison." In her mansion, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. She right. described it as being in prison. Right. Um, uh, uh, do you think about like where, how to, how to expand it, how to where to go? Yeah. Do you worry? Do you ever yeah. go fuck? How I, I can't go past four donuts at the same time. How do I mix it up? Well, you know that's the thing is you know like I've struggled with even like you know I was saying in the beginning it's like people are like you know, big mouth girl, you know, and now that I have like my show, my live shows, people are like, are you going to just like shove things in your mouth? Like for an hour? How much would you pay for big mouth, the show to go away? So you could have big mouth. Oh my God. I'm just like, whenever they want like a live, (laughs) you know, they want to make a live version of big mouth. (gasps) I like, I have to be it. Of course. Yeah. Um, We're like Broadway. Good luck with the casting director. I have to be in it. I have to be. (laughs) Look at this. I am the big mouth. I will swallow you if you do not put me in I will literally eat your face. Um, yeah, but that's, you know, that, or, you know, of course too, I'm like, okay, you know, doing, you know, and I've had been trying to work on some stuff with like doing some sort of show where, yeah. you know, of course I do the sandwiches thing mm-hmm. where I go around every Saturday. Cause it, and this start all started, you know, again, it's just like taking TikTok things that do well. And I'm like, all right, well, if they like this. And the, one of the first videos I did was I, <laughs> 
ate an entire Subway sandwich in one bite. And that got like 40 million views. Which, uh, six inch? Yeah, six inch. That's still, that's, oh, that's still yeah. impressive. Yeah, but like, you know, putting the entire... Yeah. That went crazy. And everyone kept, you know, commenting, you got to do this sandwich. You know, you got to try this, try this one, try this one. So it started to be like, okay, I'll do a weekly thing. Well, I'll go around and find the biggest sandwiches or I'll go and do all your guys' recommendations. Yeah. And then it just like grew. And now I've done like the biggest taco and the biggest, you know, going around and find like the And they give it foods. to you for free, right? Most do. Some do. You know, it is awkward. Like, you know, I'm sure you, should, you know, I show up and like sometimes it's like unannounced and, you know, so I'm in a random place and I'm like, all right, we got to, you know, because I still try and do it every Saturday. Yeah. And like even like last weekend, like it was totally unannounced. I just went in and I'm like, you know, I take my mask down. I'm like, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get, you know, like what's the biggest sandwich you have? Without <laughs> even saying, like, they're going to be like, damn, your mouth is big. Free sandwich yeah, for you. Yeah. Let's well, no, they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, and they're like $13. And I'm like, I'm going to me, you know, like, do you, do you recognize, you know, it's just so weird when you're like, I'm like, I'm going to. Do you have a son or daughter who has TikTok? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, is there a good area for lighting in here? Where's the best lighting? <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm going to do some, but, um, but yeah, some, most of them do if they know who I am, you know, and I'm trying, like, I'm trying to like pivot because I hear about people who get free shit, obviously from followings. Um, and I, I wrote a very, cause we drink, a, I drink a lot of LaCroix <laughs> and I saw someone on TikTok got a shipment of you know, a hundred boxes of LaCroix. Yeah. So I very, if, if I go to LaCroix, I wrote them a very sad message saying, Hey, big fan of <laughs> your drink. Oh my God. I have a couple followers. Can we get, <laughs> can we get the hundred box of LaCroix for free deal? To no response. Did they respond? To no response. Oh my I God. I wonder where you, how many people do you have on your, on the TikTok? Uh, TikTok? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's going to be sad. Don't laugh. 270,000 <laughs> okay. well, followers. Great. That's great. That's great. What are you, 2 million now? Two, almost at 2.7. Jesus wow. Christ. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's, what do you you got to like, start shoving something in your It's like 10,000 preschools. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, you probably got, on TikTok, I imagine you have to be at, like, at the million thing to, like, get, like, the LaCroix. 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 Is it LaCroix or LaCroix? I think it's LaCroix. Well, we I gotta, think it is LaCroix, too. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just yeah. saying <laughs> I think you need to have more followers before you get the free. Um. So 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 before this fame, did you go to school? Did you go to college for theater? No. no. So very long story short, I mean, I grew up wanting to be on Broadway, wanting to do you know the whole performing, being an entertainer, and you. Know, I mean, I'm sure you have the same thing where it was like my parents were like, <laughs> no, <laughs> I know, like that's hilarious. They so my parents like they more didn't care. They more were like he'll he's he's self sufficient. Yeah, but yours were no. To mine know. were like we won't support you if you like. I wanted to move to New York City. Like my goal was to move mm -hmm. to New York City, and like be on stage in New York City. Really? Why do you think they were were so? Maybe no. I sucked. <laughs> you know? No, I think they were just like it's unrealistic, you know. And it was. I mean, this is like you know this could go way deep into my trauma but it's let's like let's go this is the downside <laughs> but it's like you know i i think too i came from like a broken home where it's like my mom's been married four times now and four times yes wow okay are you of her first marriage i am of her third oh <gasps> wow. wow does she have kids from the first yes so you have, so you have i have like siblings. i have five different <laughs> half, half steps why well, I, I, I have four half siblings so two total um you so how how many do you have? What do you have? So I have a stepsister, two stepbrothers, a half brother, and a regular brother. Wow, got it, got it. <laughs> Are you friendly with with all of them? Yeah, yeah, I am. I mean, I'm really close, obviously, with the regular brother. I don't know, like the, the blood full, brother, the full the brother, full brother, yeah, sure. the full brother. Um, but you know, so my mom been had a a couple tough marriages so it was very much i think a lot of women who are my age like the millennial woman as much as we get shit for it it was like our moms were the ones who were like don't make the same mistake i did sure go to college never ever rely on a man for anything you're like the only way you'll ever be successful is to make a shit ton of money and be a ceo and like you know because my mom never went to college she mm. never got an education yeah. so when she had all these different men that were abusing her and doing drugs and you know going through all her shit it was she had nothing to fall back on mm -hmm. so it's like time and time again my you know it's like i just remember my mom being like you go to school you get a really good job and you make a shit ton of money and you never rely on anyone 
and you never ha- you be an independent woman like i have literally a tattoo that's like fly on your own wings because it's like been banged into my head is that what she would say fly yeah, on your she, own wings? yeah she'd be like yeah like you you are only have you make your own money like that's why too like you know i <laughs> my poor james we've yeah. been together seven years but i like will not get married yeah, that's, I like, you know, because that's fantastic. Like, I think more people should do that. Yeah, well, you know, and it's it, it's funny, too. Like, I just saw this earlier today, too. Millennial women now, 44% of millennial women aren't having babies. So, like, from ages, yeah. you know, whatever, it's, like, 27 to 40, or, you yeah. know, I think, I forget yeah. what the ages or, are yeah. now. Like, almost, yeah, 45% are not having kids yeah. anymore. Do you feel, do you not want kids? You're I don't settled? know if I do either, which is like, sure. because it's just, you know, it's again, like I was literally just saying on the way over here, it's been like so like into our head. It's like, yeah. be successful, make all this money, like never rely on anyone. Like, look at us. We are like, you know, I had nothing. And you know, it's like that was banged in. So it was like, Oh, like, well, it's like also it makes perfect sense for so many reasons where you're like, it, it the the life that even our parents when when they were in the situation where they were buying houses or or getting yeah. educations or having kids it's so different now that it's mm-hmm. like financially people are like I'm not having kids like I'm 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 not like there, there's no way I could afford the to people I know my age have, have kids that seem like like good with it I'm like there's money somewhere someone's family yes. has some significant money somewhere because yeah. there's, there's just certain things that are. I mean, it's exist. really hard. It's yeah. really hard to imagine in, in, in if you want to keep living oh in New God. York City. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and I, and I want to live here. So there's a thing where you're like, it's just not a feasible thing like it used right? to be for for a lot of people. And I think there's a lot of reasons beyond financial. You're just looking at the world and the state right now. It's sure. like it's not. It doesn't inspire like a yeah. Let's bring more people to this. <laughs> right. party. Or definitely like right now. If I'm gonna have kids. Like I'm not living this close to the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> I'm living in the there's middle a, of land. There's not an atmosphere of like, <laughs> yeah, let's right. expand this. Like, yeah, right. right. Like the world's it's burning more like, to a let's crisp. Let's just be a little bit quieter and calmer and less, you know. Yeah. Uh, now, anyways, your parents. How old were you when they got divorced? Um. So I was thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Now, do you think? Because my parents got divorced when I, before I was conscious yep. of things. Yeah. Do you, I've always wondered if that's the worst puberty. Yeah, because you know what it is too is I felt like I you know like divorce was like just starting to pop off like around our age too. I mean he's dated, I mean I probably met like honestly swear to God not even over exaggerating I probably met over two thousand different women. <gasps> he's dated. Oh my god! And like you know I, no you must be exaggerating. No, that's an insane I, number that you just said. No, no I 2000, swear to God that means Since how many I was women in a year? 13. Since I was thirteen. That's still that's an incredible. Yes, I mean what is that? So like twenty years. 20, 20 years, that's 100, 2, women, that's 100 a women a year. Yes, yes that honestly. You see your dad 100 a, times a does year. Does he take you on every first date? He, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's part of But I swear to God, I have this whole joke on Father's Day. Like every holiday, there was a different woman. Uh huh. So like it would be like my 21st birthday. And I always say my dad had this saying. He'd be like, the more the merrier though, right? And I'd be like, what? And he'd be like, I have a friend that I'm going to bring. Oh, no. And I would be like the first date. Wing woman, like I was first date in my 18th birthday, first date every oh Father's Day, God. first date every birthday, like how every many, holiday. How many women are in this small town? I mean, that's, <laughs> well, that's the thing, he's, is, he's cycling back. He's well, like, he Yeah, flies, I know her. That's 10 years ago. He has he goes around every dating app, and yeah. he like it'll be funny. He comes to New York City and visits me, and he resets all his dating oh. apps in New York City. Oh. You see him do this in front of you? Yes, he's at the table. I'm like, we're like having a nice dinner, and he's like on Bumble, like swiping. Just swiping, like, <laughs> right, 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 right. Maybe he's going for his own world record. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine? Well, there's been, again, like, my, Who, you know, my dad. He's been in the most mouths <laughs> in New York City. I, like, he probably does. I swear to God. I love him great. Like, and How old is he amazing. now? Um, he's 65. Oh. And that, that libido still... Well, my God, he has a my dad's lots sixty-seven. Of drugs. And, oh, sure, oh, yeah, 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 sure, <laughs> yeah, sure. Whole, that was a mistake of mine once. Was like playing. I'm like, how many prescriptions for like, you, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and like the gas station, like the snake, or you oh, know, it's like the, the oh, giant. Oh my God! God. The <laughs> pill oh no! Oh. That's so. Now, did you did you like any of the? Women that he dated, like my my dad, when he got a new girlfriend, and I think my dad would do this, mm. he would buy a bunch of presents for her to give mm. me. <laughs> and so every woman would like come with like a dog with like treats, like, and I was the dog. 
of just like a look. This woman brought you things, right? The positive associations with this new woman, oh. and uh, I feel like some of them I just didn't know long enough. Like it would literally, I would be on a blind date with him, like blind dates. And I have this whole joke about too. Like this is like a true story. It was Father's Day of my sixteenth year. Like I was in high school, sixteen, and I wanted to take him on a Father's Day boat trip. We had a growing up in Miami, we had a boat. And he was like, the more the merrier, right? And I'd be like, <laughs> this is his phrase. That's his phrase. Every the day, more the, the more the merrier. I'd say, no. It's my 16th birthday party <laughs> on a boat. No. And a woman showed up and she, you know, of course he showed up first and he just like sent me a text and was like, SOS. And I was like, what? And he was like, she's a whale. And she was like catfished him. Like it was like this 350 pound She was me. Oh, at, oh, at the boat. So I guess boat. he thought of it because they were by the water. I guess <laughs> that makes a little more sense. But this. But like for my father's day on 16th, it's like me, my dad, and like this. Fat woman. What did he want you to do? Entertain her. Because then, of course, he's like. What? Wait. <laughs> this woman. Okay. So this yeah. woman lied to your father, sent wrong pictures. <laughs> Showed up under the premise of I'm going to a 16 year old girl's birthday. birthday party on a boat. <laughs> Didn't think that that would be, and then you were you were somehow forced on your 16th birthday to entertain this yeah. woman. Yeah, because my dad's driving. He's like, you got you know like you know. Did she get on the me. boat with you? Yes, we went on a boat ride, and he broke up with her. We anchored the boat in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and she goes. <laughs> I heard so <laughs> many jokes. I <laughs> He and he's like, a, go home. a rope next door and threw her over. <laughs> oh, sorry. I can make those jokes, listener, because I'm fat. But listen, um, the... Uh, they can hear it in your voice. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, wait, I so... Like, I like this. It's like a different version so of Moby Dick. The boat. It's a different version of Moby Dick where he needs to get rid of the whale. <laughs> SOS. Oh, God, that's brutal. <laughs> Literally. Okay, it's okay. We can joke because she did lie. But yeah. wait, uh, my question is. She did lie. So we liar. can body shame <laughs> all we want. That is the rules. That is the rules of oh. body shaming. Wait, time out. So, she, so you guys anchored the boat. Yeah. And then what happened? Well, she I don't slapped understand. his ass. And then he was like. I need to talk to you. Oh, but so the she's boat a is sexual like sexual assaulter too. Yeah, so. <laughs> but she thought this was a date. Like they've been talking on the phone. Mm -hmm. So you know, there's a little bit of a connection. And Man. he was just like, oh, this so is, you're he's like, I need dock. to talk to you. No, we're in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's that's not the place you go to break up with someone. That's it's where you, that's, like, that's like, like where you go in the Godfather Two. You kill your traitorous brother and leave him there. Not to someone you did, need to go back to land. Did with. you call the Coast Guard and be like, "Hey, quick, come here. We're gonna pick up this fat woman. Take her off this boat right now." <laughs> Wait, what happened? He was a, just like I think he was just like you know she was trying to get handsy with him, and this boat oh, is maybe the birthday. <laughs> yes, birthday. yes, yes. It's just the three of you. You don't yes. have any friends. Yes, and the boat is probably oh. half like the size of this room. Oh. And he's just like, can I talk to you? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I just like turn around <laughs> and just stare at the ocean. And behind me, you know, he's like, I don't think this is going to work. Like, I think we need to see, you know, other people. <laughs> and <laughs> we're just in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> How long was he talking to this woman beforehand? I don't know, I, a couple I, weeks. It's such a, it's such a wild first date and, and first 16th birthday life. party for I, you. Uh, yes. That is Yes, nuts. you're telling me. And so, how'd she oh, take it? No, she started crying. Oh, brutal. He's like, well, let's go back, to, you know, so she tears streaming. She's sitting next to me, and it's yeah. like, you know, I'm like, it's I, like, like I would be like, you know what? You think this is bad? <laughs> This is my 16th this is birthday. My birthday. You fucking liar. <laughs> like, what? what the hell? Oh my God. <laughs> wow. That is yeah, a really so funny, that was my 16th awful birthday. story. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. So I never saw, I do have her bracelet though, because at the end. Do you use it as a belt? <laughs> oh, uh, I, oh, come oh. on. I don't know this. <laughs> Well, I could, you know, because it was one of those awkward things where we were sitting on the boat, <laughs> and I was like, awkward thing? <laughs> it sounds like the sound most like awkward it. thing in the history of the world record of the most awkward thing in the entire world. 
<laughs> Everyone failed you on that day. Everyone, Everyone failed, failed me. you. No. Your dad, <laughs> that woman. The, the, but there's no, that is, I mean, for you to agree to just go on a 16th birthday party with on just a boat with your dad mm-hmm. is, I would be like, this isn't a great <laughs> present <laughs> idea. Like but better. then to bring a, comp, a first date. Yeah. Oh. Every holiday, though, that was just oh. normal. You know, like that's just, that was that's just wild. my upbringing. So, the, hence why I have commitment issues. And of course. Yeah. yeah. Has your dad analyzed this at all? Like, no, no. No. I mean, I think he knows. Is there any apology at any point for any no, of this kind of thing? No, no, no. You ever, no, you ever no. get a good yelling at him? Say, Dad, Dad you, this is crazy. You ever have a good fight with your dad? No, because it still happens like to this day. Sure. Like, Chris, like for Thanksgiving, random woman. I was like, I can't even remember what her name Sally, Susan, Cindy, something yeah. like that. Yeah. But like, it's like every hall it just it's the same you know so it's like what's the you know are you able to point? enjoy it now like just like a, this <laughs> well now is crazy. i just like kind of fuck funny. with them yeah, you know yeah yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, should i call you mom or mommy oh you know <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know just kind of fuck and like now it's like whatever but it's yeah that that was that's that was wow. my my dad <laughs> growing up you wow. know so it's like it's a lot. That, as that a, blows my, I mean, I yeah. thought my dad was bad. Oh, yeah. No, that is. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. Yeah. Like that, crazy. And I really do. I mean, I still, like, it's funny. You know, I, you know, I felt bad, yeah, for a lot of these women who were like, you know, it was like hard to watch yeah. sometimes because it's like, get out. You know, it was like, you know, every time we went to first date, I'm like, oh. get, run. You yeah. Know? But. Wow. I like that story because it's like, oh, human beings are insane. I mean, that's like, that's just like the fact that there are multiple people agreeing to those circumstances. Sure. It's very funny. Are they usually uh, his age-ish or is he like a younger person too? Younger. Like my dad, my dad, his girlfriend sometimes... Is is someone who's my age, mm. my like a month younger than me. Well, what was really fun is his like eightieth last girlfriend a year ago was a pansexual, and she was forty, a forty year old pansexual. And my dad is like very conservative. <laughs> oh, okay, but he and probably just didn't. He's conservative. Me. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand how he squares that in his head. Exactly. Like, yeah. so it was a very interesting dynamic to watch because she obviously was completely, you know, very liberal and he never like date, you know, yeah. but her last, she had a kid with a woman. Yeah. And him like having to accept that there was like a woman, it was like, you know, he's like, it, it was just he's like, <laughs> I'm a traditional, I only introduce my daughter to one woman at a time. <laughs> No more than one woman a day. I would never two women. SOS pansexual. <laughs> yeah. oh. And you know, and he would like make fun of it. You know, he would like make. It, I'm like you. You know, he would kind of make fun of her a little bit sometimes. It was just it was weird, but it was also very entertaining. You know, it's like great. You know, great material. Talk about. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. I have all. <laughs> my dad dated my kindergarten teacher. That was my. Oh. That was my big thing. Yes. And then my mom got her fired. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh my oh. god! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Was she uh-huh. not allowed to date your dad? Uh, you know, I think it was just—I I don't know. I, I'll have to ask my mom one day to like really give me the the, deeds. the scoop. Yeah, because usually a lot of these stories in my head, it's like it used to be my mom was like being an asshole, and yeah. then I get the details later, and I'm like, whoa, yeah, my dad's the problem here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, maybe I just remember they started dating. Maybe I was in first grade when it happened, mm. but like I really liked her. Mm. As a teacher, we still stay in touch. Like you know, like she, we know each other. She found other work. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But but you know, it's just that thing where like I probably told some kids, yeah, Mrs. Vance, Miss mm. Vance was at my house last night, and like you know, they had a field day with that. Mm. Yeah, and then they yeah. got her fired. Oh, she was, she was cool. I liked her. I mean, I liked a lot of these. I think my trauma is these women I grew close with yeah. who vanished. I saw my so I have a. I have four half half siblings, and I had one. She yeah. she was my stepmom. The marriage that my dad got remarried again. Mm. The marriage wasn't uh, like by a real priest, so it didn't legally count. But they had the mm. whole ceremony. I think it was like for show for her family because she was pregnant. Mm. So I think it was just like to let her more religious family go. Oh, okay, they're married. It's okay. Yeah. So she was my stepmom for my for my purposes. 
but then they broke up. I think it's probably because my dad cheated. Like I remember uh, when when my sister was born, suddenly things got weird. She started mm-hmm. sleeping in the basement, mm-hmm. and then just like very possessed. And my dad was like, you know, she the baby, and they baby made her go crazy, and we high fived, and we're like, yeah, women suck. And then you get older, and you're Whoa. like, no, it sounds like you mm-hmm. made her go yeah. upset rationally. Right. Uh, but then it's very distant for a while, but years, and this is now probably I'd say at 30 and now 33, we're like, I can see her and she's very sweet towards me. And I think she, you know, and it's still a weird, but I'm able to say hello and give her a hug. And That's... during the pandemic, she sent me food, Yeah, wow. and, but it was like, but you know, I think it was, I think it's just fucking weird. It was weird. I had a woman in my life who I thought was my stepmom and then vanished, vanished, yeah, yeah. vanished. Yeah. Um, is your mom still in the, the fourth marriage? She's divorced. She's divorced. Again. Yeah. Is she recently. dating? Is she dating more slowly? Cat- she, so this, she just got divorced like a year ago, which is oh, a whole other wow. trauma. Like talk about even. She's like a divorce, pandemic divorce. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like, right. It was like, well, I guess I know time like is a blur right now. I guess yeah. it was like right before the, so I guess it's okay. like a year and a half year and maybe. A half or so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and it was another, like, I had known him, her new husband for a while, and he, like, you know, again, ended up being, like, doing stuff on the side. Yeah, oh. Even, like, it, you know, it's, like, it's, I mean, she's, like, in her 60s, too, 63. It's, so it's wild like, when it's, like, people are that age, and you're, like, doing stuff on the side. Right, it's, like, you're 60 years, years old. I Calm know. down. I know. Just do, chillax. Do you think your, your mom... Is there's something about men who do this that she's attracted yes. to? Like yes. clearly yes. there's yeah. a yeah. Oh totally. yeah, something's totally. happening there. Totally, totally. Yeah. yeah, we all. She's got drama. We all got drama. This is a lot of drama. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at yeah. least you have siblings to like share this with. Yeah, a lot yeah. of them. That yeah. is nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <A lot of laughs> yeah, it's all fucked up. Yeah, yeah. So holidays are fun. So that's why, like, this time of year, like, I start like. Upping my antidepressants a little bit. Sure, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. It's yeah. like this time of years. Like, I'm just, like, you know, even, like, thinking about having to go home for Christmas. I'm like, I don't even know. I, don't I, I I've, I'm trying to not, but it's hard. I know. You got to be a strong of will when that get, when that phone call comes. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think where, like, I just book a gig for the day. And I'm like, I can't no, now. That's, I know. I can't. Yeah. <sighs> Tough. Auntie, what are you on? Um. So I've been on Citalopram since I was 13. Really? Like the highest dose possible without getting blown. Right around the divorce, you got <gasps> yep. the antidepressants. Yep. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah, I was going through a rough time. Because that's the other thing, too. You know, of course, like everyone, I feel like it's like mental health. But I really have, you know, like, you know, I'm fu- you know, my nails are fucked. I, you know, I have all my anxiety issues that I deal uh, with. But yeah. um, that was... Yeah, it kind of like had set me off. And of course, you know, my parents wanted to get me into therapy anyways, you know, around sure. that point. But it was like, I've always had issues with sleeping. Like I always. I talk about sleeping all the time in this podcast. It's a oh nightmare. Oh my God. Like, what yeah, a I like just talking about sleeping makes me anxious. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it really, and like I would, I remember being like 13 and I would go like three, four days without sleeping. Wow. Yeah. I'd be like, how am I alive? Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm like, I've been up for like 72 hours. Yeah. Straight. Do you take any sleep stuff now? Um, weed and, um, weed helps. Yeah. A lot of melatonin and God. CBD. I, someone was just tell, talking about melatonin the other day. I take yeah. like 20 milligrams of melatonin. Yeah. They said it's very helpful. Yeah. Yeah. And I have my little weed pen. I got the medical card. Yeah. So I got my little indica, take my little puff puff. Nice. Yeah. But, but it was tough. I mean, I can't imagine going to bed sober. <laughs> sure. Like, I understand. Without like melatonin or CBD or anything like raw dog and sleep. Yeah. Raw dog and sleep. Raw, you know, like I could never. Yeah. You know, I have to listen to stuff. I it's a, a fan. yeah. I, I would I would kill to be a good sleeper, man. Me too. Yeah. Like people who just fall asleep now. Why this Ambia now? And like, so I, I have to get up early for a shoot tomorrow. And like, you know, I usually go to bed two or three. Mm-hmm. Three is kind of really my time. Yeah. And tonight I want to go to bed by one, would be mm. nice. And I'm going to take that Ambia. Yeah. And it's mm. going to feel real good. Mm. Those th- I used to take some sleeping pills back in the day, but I got, 
I loved them too much. Which one? Well, I, I was more of like, I loved like a lorazepam, like an Ativan. Like I would take some, I did Ambien for a little bit, but it was like, it would make me so messed up the next morning. That's, that doesn't seem to happen to me, which really? is what feels nice. I do not ever feel hmm. weird after the Ambien. I take it very infrequently. Yeah, it was yeah. probably yeah, infrequently enough that it doesn't. And then Tova takes, uh, what's it called? Pro, what's, what's the other sleep? No, not Prozac. What's the other sleep? Clonopin. Oh, she has night fuck. terrors and like she needs those but she she seems she's never complained to me about like any side effects with the with the clonopin sometimes you can get a little like that hung you know like when you just feel like kind of out of it the next morning sure. a little bit sure like you know you just call it colana stoned because you know it's almost kind of like a lot of stone yeah oh, just, like, she'll hear that that'll, yeah. that'll be good <laughs> she'll start using that as an excuse for fucking whatever she likes <laughs> uh, colana stoned <laughs> Um, all right, well, let, let's go on to our, our next segment. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. Uh, did you have one today? Uh, no, let's save it for the, we have another thing. Well, sure. Uh, do you have a this has got to stop? I would like to discuss something with you that I'd love to get your thoughts on. Yes. Have you guys used a bidet before? Oh, yeah. yeah. I have, have I have, well, I haven't installed it, <gasps> but I have a free whatever bidet someone sent me. It's probably bad, but yes, I've used a bidet. So I... You know, I am a big advocate for clean buttholes around the world. That's yeah. right. That is. How yeah. did that? When, when did that? <laughs> well, I just, again, like jokes, like, of course, you know, the gape, like, so I say I'm a gape specialist. Like, I'm yeah. about gape health, you know, mouth, all the holes, all, all the, gapes. the gapes. All the holes. All the gapes. Can yeah. I tell you, holes is one of the, like, is the least sexy. Like, the way some people feel about moist or whatever, like, yeah. holes for holes. me. Holes. Holes. Yeah. Something about, like, describing it as holes, <laughs> I'm like. Not that turns not like if it's used in a porn title, like all yeah. the holes are filled. Yeah. Like, fill every to me, like hole. a hole, fill every a hole, hole is very much just like you can see, <laughs> see through just it. Through right. it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, uh, so I did. Yeah, so it's totally you know started as just me being like I'm a gape, you know, gape health for everyone. Yeah, and and my mom actually funny enough, I had tried one. At my mom, my mom had got one installed, uh -huh. and of course, I did like a whole video of me like trying the bidet for the first time, and it was like I just like it was like I like I felt like I saw Jesus for the first time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was just it was such an amazing experience. Yeah, and the fact that like everyone, every like especially European countries, obviously yeah. too. If you, everyone else has bidet. Like Americans are the only ones that only use toilet paper. Yeah. And like, think it's weird. Like, I talk to a lot of men. They're like, "No, no, no, I don't like anything up my butt." I'm like, yeah. "It's like, it's not. Why are you making it weird? It's not." I mean, you know, they're literally putting their fingers and 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 paper I, on their butthole, right? When they do it. No, I I've done a, this is on the show. I don't remember what episode it was, but I did do this. Has got to stop wiping once mm, because yeah. I just <laughs> yes, I, I yeah. figure <laughs> like there's like it's so archaic. It's crazy to me that crazy. we've evolved as far as we have, yeah, and that somehow. Other animals, my dog, he goes outside, he poops, he does not use his paws mm -hmm. to clean up anything. It's crazy to me that we're still over here wiping with wiping. our fingers. Right. Like animals. Right. Or not even like animals. Like, like just Neanderthal. It's, <laughs> it's, it, 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 somehow there should, we should have evolved more so yeah. our butt doesn't like need, doesn't get all poopy. Well, even like Do a third know? world country, they still have a bidet. Here, give like me a second. Forgive me. I, I have, my laundry is here. I couldn't control it. <laughs> Keep talking about you, this though for a second. You have been dealing with this laundry drama. Okay. Um, okay. So we'll keep City. talking I about we'll it. keep talking about buttholes and bidets. So we, but yes, I agree with you. Yeah. I, you know, I think uh, it, it is a rarity to find someone with a bidet uh, in, especially in, in New York City. Yeah. Uh, but um, I love it when it come when I come across it. It's great. It is amazing, and it really is one of the things. Now that I have one, it's it's like when I don't use one. You know, yeah, yeah. anywhere um, it's like feel I feel dirty. dirty. Yeah, and it's like, can you? Everyone else is walking around here with dirty buttholes, and they don't even know. Yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> they don't know how dirty I, it is. I'm, I'm right with you. I, you know, all good. Yeah, you got it. The laundry's there. Wait, 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 wait. Was this? Is, this has got. Was this a, this has got to stop or was this a well, this I was something you this like? This has got to stop like dirty buttholes. Dirty like, buttholes. People got to stop walking around with dirty people, buttholes. Is people, what I'm more people need to be. Taking Clean up into arms. We need to pass some legislation <laughs> right. to get the days to every American. Let me tell you, with a, with a, I think we said, I have, I, have a, I have a hairy butt. Yeah. Oh, Big Jewish hairy he butt. He really mm. needs it. And like, if you don't have a hairy butt, you have no idea <laughs> how difficult it is to mm. be clean. Mm -hmm. It's the difference between sp I'm, it's, it's, it's spill, spill uh, some hot chocolate on here yep. and then spill hot chocolate on a, 
like a 70s fuzzy I, rug. Right. And that's what so I'm dealing with every time. only use paper to clean it up. Only use paper. I, listen, I, I want a bidet. Oh. But but have you had a bad experience with, with dirty buttholes? Well, I think what it was is as soon as I started like opening this can of worms and then I started, you know, I do a lot on Instagram stories where I have people like send me, you know, you know people send me secrets. I do like this whole secrets you know, a dish where people send me, you know, their biggest, deepest, darkest secrets. I see a lot of people will do that on their stories. And mm. um, one woman, she is a wax, per like she does waxes. And she was like, you would not believe, like I would say 80% of people that come in here, their butthole, there's poop still in their butt. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Russell, and, that, that made you grab my hand. And so she... <laughs> That woman, that woman, when she went to, when she signed up for that job, still holding hands. she did not know no. that that was going to be part of it. Wow. Right. And she's like, you know, and then like she did the stats and it's like, and she's like, I did a survey. Like I, four like, out of five people that go into that, that thing yeah, have that poop on their butt. Poop still like rancid. I, and, <laughs> and people don't even know it. I don't think people really understand. Poop does this to you too? I get, I have very bad, like. Yeah. Yes. It, oh, what? Like that's crazy. Like barf. Yeah. Barf. Poop. Sure. Sure. Barf poop. Well, that is strange. I, I was. I've always been self caught because of the hairy thing. I think I've always been very mm. like. I've always been worried about uh, dingleberries. <laughs> Have you ever shaved your butthole? It's one of those things. It's like when I was a kid. Once I took like a, a regular <laughs> razor to it, and like it was just like mm. it never ended. Never. <laughs> yeah. Never it, ended. Yeah. And then now I have. I have a trimmer, but it really is the trimmer. I always get scared of cutting myself, so it's like there's always like a little bit. So I'll do it like a little bit. Your girlfriend should try waxing your butthole. Oh, I, that would really hurt. <laughs> that would, that I got, would really I hurt. I had my boyfriend wax my butthole once just for Was that content. a TikTok too? <laughs> James! <laughs> TikTok took that one. Uh, yes, yes. Wow, that did. was a good one. Yeah. That's a good, that's a... Well, it's just been I've been on a kick about it lately. Yeah. You know, and I so and I do some promos with I don't know if the one you have is a tushy, but tushy is probably yeah. It's it, well, and it is. I mean, anyone because a lot of times bidets are really expensive. Normally, you got to get another toilet. You know, you yeah. you know again, you, if you're yeah. in Europe, normally they have a second, but this is when you literally just like screw on takes ten minutes to install. But so I've been just like on a kick about talking about it. But um, are you getting paid for saying this? Right yeah. Now? By the way, <laughs> no. Uh, code no. No, but we. I was when I was in Hawaii. I was in Hawaii, and uh, uh, they had a bidet installed there, mm. and it was like like one with like different temperatures and different yeah. cuts, and yes. and uh, a blower. Mm. Oh, yeah, you blowjob right. Oh. Yeah. Like a, yeah, like the blow dryer. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, they had a dryer and that was really nice. Oh my God. So I was just in there for an Luxury. hour. Luxury. Oh my God. Yeah, you'll never leave. <laughs> <laughs> no, I say like, I'll just go in there. Just like, even if I don't have to go, just like feel something again. You know, like if you sure. just like, yeah. need a second and you're like, I'm just going to, you know, let it rip. Just yeah. Just full throttle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, what well, I, <laughs> I do. I, I like that. I like, I like, uh. Bidets. I would yeah. love to be sponsored by a bidet. I know. Do you have a sponsor for your podcast yet? We're getting there. I'm on like episode seven. So I do, you know, it's like I'm getting there. Yeah. It's Listen, I'm not just, I, they, they do random ads for me. I'm at the lowest level. And I was listening to the last episode and the ad at the beginning was for Timberlands. Really? And I was just like, I was like, I, I haven't looked at, I just, I just doubt it. I yeah. just doubt anyone's going to buy Timbaland. <laughs> <laughs> Listening when do we start this. getting things like good things? You right. know, that's what I want. Well, you got to start talking about them. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. You got to think. Well, about we, we spent a lot of time talking about bidets. So, well, there you go. We, we've had. I, we had said once someone contacted me, like some coffee brand was advertised, oh, but it's like yeah. the, the like conservative, the, the conservative, like, like woke, <laughs> like oh, no. fuck woke people. Coffee, QAnon coffee, yeah, QAnon <laughs> coffee, QAnon coffee. And that someone's we were writing me like, hey, just so you know, and I'm just like, that's very sweet of you. I totally agree with you. I don't think I can do anything about it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, right. Well, let's go to our final segment. You better count your blessing. You better count your blessing. Russell, do you have a blessing for I us? do. Um, my blessing is that, that glorious, glorious voice of, of Douglas Goodhart that we uh, just heard. Um, I went to his house Last night he made a uh, like a, a friendsgiving kind of meal, mm. and oh, reminder this is coming was... out January. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, he made a Christmas meal, and uh, <laughs> it was the best turkey, the 
like he made this double like cooked like potato that was like it was basically mashed mm. pot- cheesy mashed potatoes within a baked potato. It was mm. the stuffing. He uh, Joanne made a great salad. It was it was the gr- it was a great. The turkey was special somehow. What kind of turkey oh, was it? I don't know, but it was like moist isn't even like a good word. It was like. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to say wet. It was. It was like juicy. It was just. Mm. Oh, it was a, such a great meal. Did he put stuffing in the hole. Yeah, and then the um, hole. and he, and I'm just you know, uh, it was it was a really nice, lovely. It was one of the best meals I've had in a long time, mm. and so I'm, I'm <sighs> thankful for Douglas Goodhart, who also I'll say this about him is he listens. To every episode, so I, of course I, you wouldn't like, be saying this if he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like he's a very sweet. It's very, very kind. Like you know, like that's a, a goes out of his way to to listen to. What's everyone. kind that we give this content out for free, or that he <laughs> enjoys it? <laughs> I uh, think it's nice because he'll say nice things, uh, thoughtful, it's, it's thoughtful sweet. things it's about the, about that. Uh, oh, episodes. speaking of which, join the Patreon, yes, Douglas. No, not Douglas. Uh, no, Douglas, Douglas, is Douglas. He's I should give Douglas a free, a free Patreon membership. Oh, nice. Frankly, but Patreon, it's patreon.com slash downside. Early episodes, bonus episodes, two a month, soon going to be four one day. Mm-hmm. Uh, extra content. I think I'm going to put out the, the the other podcast that never made it that I did oh, with yeah. Sam Morrison. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you'll get it there. So so patreon.com slash downside. Help us. We I saw someone else's Patreon. There's mm-hmm. so many followers that they were like, once we hit $20,000 a month, we're going to take... The other co-host in Disney World. Yeah. <laughs> We're at a level that, like, I'm going to take Russell take to Subway. To, to the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get Russell a six And I'm going to put, chick- try to see if I can put. <laughs> I mean, I'll start doing that for Patreons if we want to, like, just yeah. like, just try to We're take up her them. racket. Just, like, take her videos and just do them. But I'll do them. And not as well at all, you know. You should. Yeah. Everybody, <laughs> like, he well. couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. <laughs> um... Uh, my blessing, uh, you know, my my uh, girlfriend, she's mm. she's a comedy manager, but very good uh, comedian. Uh, uh, Who are you allowed to say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tova Silberman. Yeah. No, no. Oh, of you? Oh, she's your Oh, no. Manager? She's not my manager. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Are you allowed to say who she manages? So the commission is a lot higher. Uh, <laughs> who is it? Is Do you say that? Do you uh, say who she manages? Yeah, it's public. It's on IMDb Pro. Is it? Who is it? Uh, a lot of people. Like oh, she different... manages a lot of people. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, oh cool. What, what I did didn't you know think that. of one like a one client? I don't know. I don't know if it was like Amy. You know, like I don't know. If it was Amy like Schumer. Deal. Like yeah. Amy, she's just ten percent of Amy Schumer. You can make a good living off <laughs> that, oh, right? Yeah. You know, like it was like a big deal. I don't uh, know. No, a lot, lot of a lot of great clients. Cool. Um, uh, and she occasionally I ask for notes on this podcast that she was talking about. One thing that I was doing, I think, you know, I'm figuring out how to be an interviewer. I make no claim to be a good interviewer, but it was that I was, I was getting stuck kind of going to the timeline. I was always like, because I was uh-huh. nervous about like uh, keeping things moving yeah. or like uh, uh, just having something else to talk about. Mm. I would sometimes rather than let it go on its own journey. I would always go back to okay. Well, then, so, so then, then you, you turn in, seven, yeah, 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 and then high school, and then college, and it can just start to get boring. Oh, uh, I think uh, that's a great no. I've been, w- I've been thinking that for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, she had a couple of notes for you. I'll tell you after the, I'll tell you after the Patreon. Uh, but I, I, it was only it was only two episodes ago, and I feel like we've had we've done this three three in a row, and I really do feel like. Uh, uh, it's been our, some of our best three episodes this, yeah. this run. We've just some got some good incredible stories. That. I mean, that dad story, that dad is story one is for the books. top. Wow, yeah. that's great. That's it's a, a good story. Phenomenal. Yeah, there's more. There's lots, lots. Sure, dad stories yeah. as you can sure. probably imagine. Yes, good material. But it's like a one woman show about two thousand women. That's that's the log line for you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, and you know, and it is of course you know I have a lot of it. I, I am more of. Like a storytelling, like I work with, like you know, DC Benny. I'm sure DC Benny, great, great, and like Jim Brewer. Like I, you know, a lot of those, you know, you're working with Jim Brewer right now. No, 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 not right now. But like I used to love (laughs) him. (laughs) Bleep out that. (laughs) No, 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 no. Uh, But like I love like his their style of comedy. You know, where it's like I'm definitely more of kind of storyteller in a way, which I feel like a lot of people say sure. that and they're like, no, you just suck. But it's like, no, but I really, you know, it is more of like, you know, some of the stories of yeah. my life and um, obviously about the gape. And it is, that was going to be like my blessing too, is, is like, I'm grateful that even though, you know, it's hard because of course, you know, a lot of people are like, we're almost talking like my biggest issue with like, all right, are you 
a TikToker? Are you going to do mukbangs your whole life? Or, you know, are you singing? Like, what's the deal? And I am. I'm grateful I get to do. I'm finally doing my one woman show that I've always wanted to do oh. where I do. I sing and write my own music. Wow. Fantastic. So I write comedy songs, like another huge inspiration of mine, Bo Burnham. I'm yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Oh where it's like I grew up listening to him and him watching yeah. him on YouTube every night. Sure. So, and I play the piano. So I, you know, I'm finally where I'm like doing my own one woman show and have like my first like theater 750 people show next week. Oh my God. So, wow. That's which exciting. Which is like really. I mean, it's like half sold out, so this will be, you know, last push of the, you know, try and get it. But if it, like, even if I can get close to selling out, that would be amazing. How many seats yeah. is that? Seven fifty. I think that's incredible. It's aggressive. It's incredible. Yeah. It's aggressive. I like. I, it would be, you know, if I can get, you know, again to like half, even just like the orchestra. Where, where is it? <laughs> In Norwalk, Connecticut, which is oh, okay. where our friend Chris is from. Yeah. Yeah, and I, you know, of course, Stanford is yeah. where I live now, and, you know, a lot of, you know, people following in my audience, of course, living in Stanford and doing a lot of stuff around Stanford. I have a good audience there, yeah. so, but I've done a lot of shows. I've done, like, eight shows in Norwalk and Stanford area for the last, like, six months, so, but I'm, this has been, like, an accumulation of all of my work and, like, all my material and yeah. songs that I've been working on to finally do this big theater show, That's and I'm so doing awesome. it next week, so I'm really excited and grateful. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it, well, th this episode will come out after that has happened, but I'm yeah, sure it went fantastic. I'm yes. sure it was sold out. So you had the second out. show, and the second show didn't do great, but the first show <laughs> was great. Um, uh, is there anything you want to plug uh, before we wrap In this up? January. Well, I was just going to say, just, yeah, follow if you're, you know, on the Tiki Talks and Instagram, Sam Ramsdell 5. Follow along, and, um, you know, hopefully, yeah, it'll be a live show. would love to see, you know, see you out there one of these days, I do wish. a show in the cities. Of course, of course. So, um, Russell, anything you want to plug? Uh, you know, I, th I don't know if this is official yet, but it could be unofficial. Yeah. Um, the, in theory right now, <laughs> uncle function will be doing, uh, shows at asylum NYC in 2022, the second Friday of every month, uh, starting in February, I think. Yes, it very, could, very it bold to do the promo it's before very it's bold confirmed. Before it's confirmed, but I I think that that's probably what it's going to be, and uh, you'll hear the next episode, and maybe I'll have more information then. Uh, that's like the last episode you said where we were going to have Josh Groban as a guest. Oh, <laughs> and today yeah. Chris asked me, should I reach out to Tova about Caleb Huron? And yeah. I said, okay, well we've we've moved. <laughs> Caleb's a great guest, but we've moved great guest. we've moved lower we've than the Josh Groban <laughs> level. Oh, for sure. Uh, um, uh, just find me online, Jamarcus Arezi. I am in Raleigh, North Carolina. Good nights uh, at the end of this month. And a lot of headlining gigs this year, 2022. Let's hope I make it. We record so far in advance. Like, if I die suddenly. I was a, just thinking that. You, we just so die. you know, for the record here, you are in charge of getting the rest of the, the <laughs> episodes out. And I want them all played at the funeral back to oh back to back God. to back with oh. the commercials. With the commercials. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but uh, remember, whether you got a big mouth, a small mm. mouth, one day we will all be consumed by the biggest mouth in the world, and that is God. The, uh, oh. God. <laughs> I was going to say the, oh. the feelingless universe, which some people call... <laughs> God, this is the downside. One, two, three. Downside.